Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at Adobe Animate, which was previously known as Flash. We're going to look at what it's good for, what it's bad at, how much it costs, who uses it. I'll show you some examples of shows or TV series or projects that were made in Adobe Animate. And we'll try and work out whether or not it's the right piece of animation software for you. So first off, who uses it? Well, here on YouTube, a couple of examples are Jaden Animations, Domix, Pencilmation. And outside of YouTube, you've got companies like Disney making some of their films or TV series with Adobe Animate. And even in the anime industry, we've got studios like Science Saru, which was started by Masaki Yuasa, that seems to really like using Adobe Animate for their productions. They've made some great movies like Night is Short, Walk on Girl, and Ping Pong the Animation. Some other noteworthy examples would be Tuka and Birdie, which was pretty popular on Netflix, but I think it got cancelled. And My Little Pony, the series and the movies were animated in Adobe Animate. One very interesting production that was made in Adobe Animate that doesn't look like a flash animation is Studio Canal's The Big Bad Fox and Other Tales. Now, this doesn't look like a normal flash animation, but it's pretty cool to see that you can make something like this in Adobe Animate as well. I myself also use Adobe Animate quite often for my freelance work and studio work, sometimes for personal work. So we've got quite a lot of people using Adobe Animate and they're making good stuff, but how much does it cost? A monthly subscription to Adobe Animate will cost you 21 US dollars. And if you're a student, you can get Adobe Animate plus all of the other Adobe apps for $20. Let's talk about the pros and cons of Adobe Animate. One of the things that I like best about Adobe Animate is that it's so easy to just pick up and start animating. It's really easy to use the basic drawing tools, their timeline is simple to navigate, and it's got a pretty easy to use onion skin tool, which is great if you're trying to do any type of animation really. And the system requirements for Adobe Animate are really, really low. It runs on 2GB of RAM and a very entry-level Intel processor. So if you've just got a basic computer and you want to get started animating, Adobe Animate is a good place to start. And although it's easy to start animating in Adobe Animate, it's also very scalable. You've got symbols that you can reuse across multiple projects or in the same project multiple times. It has an asset library that you can use to keep your symbols and files, all that kind of stuff organized, which is really, really important on bigger projects with hundreds and hundreds of scenes or even medium-sized projects with 20, 30 shots. You can import audio and even do some basic cutting, which is really useful if you're trying to sync up sound effects or do some lip sync. Pika Pika, Pika P, Pikachu. And one more good thing is that Adobe Animate is quite widely used. A lot of animators, they either start out with Adobe Animate or pick it up somewhere along the way. And the reason this is a good thing is because with so many people using Adobe Animate, it's quite easy to work on a project together with someone else. And there are lots of tutorials out there for Adobe Animate. So it's easy to pick up and it's also easy to get help if you're stuck. On the other hand, what are the cons of Adobe Animate? Any animator who has used Adobe Animate for a while will tell you that for a industry standard software, it has some persistent bugs that makes it very annoying, but you learn to live with it, I guess. Another thing that I find lacking in Adobe Animate is raster drawing tools. Adobe Animate uses vector drawing tools, which means that you can zoom in a lot and it doesn't get blurry, but you probably wouldn't want to use Adobe Animate for projects that are trying to go for a more hand-drawn textured look. So using Adobe Animate will give you a very distinctive flash look, which is good or bad depending on your preferences. Moving on, I think that Adobe Animate is good for small teams of animators, or even if you're a single animator working on your own content, Adobe Animate is good for animators of all levels, but especially for beginners who want to start learning animation. And a nice bonus is that the software skills you get from using Adobe Animate as a beginner is transferable to a work environment. It's great for people who want to tell stories really quickly and push out lots of content, like YouTube animators. So that's my opinion on Adobe Animate and the type of stuff you can make with it, the people who use it. But I'm sure that there are people out there doing things that I think Adobe Animate can't do. 
let me know in the comments if this video has helped you, if you want to see more videos like this. I'm thinking of doing something like this for TV Paint and maybe Tomb Room Harmony. So thank you for watching, goodbye.